Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be trying the newest like foundation product from CoverGirl. It's this product right here. It is the Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. And I've been loving the Simply Ageless line. The lip liners are really good. The mascara was really good. The Olay Simply Ageless Skincare Product Plus Foundation is really good. It comes like in a purple, purple tub, if you will. So this is what we're gonna be trying today. It does seem very similar to the Chanel product that went viral a little bit ago. It also seems fairly similar to the Jane Iredell product that has the little color beads in it. So if you'd like to hear more about this product, see it in action and perhaps a wear test, then just keep watching. Okay, so again, this is the Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence with 0.5% Bacochial. I don't know what that is. It's the Hydro Fresh tint and I have the shade 20 light it says it's skincare plus makeup hybrid with micro droplet technology pigmented capsules blend easily to distribute an even tint an improved tone complexion looks plump refreshed and more youthful clean and vegan formula dermatologist tested but I've seen a few people try it and they seem to really like it so I guess we'll see what we think. I'm guessing since it's suspended in like a clear fluid, you'll have to break apart the little droplets with the color in them and mix it together to apply on the face. So I don't think a sponge would do a great job. I feel like it's gonna soak it all up and a brush may not break apart all the pigments. So I feel like I'm gonna have to use my fingers to apply this. So let's open her up. Just like a little, little top and then a pump bottle. Are you ready? Okay, that's what it looks like right there. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's breaking apart, but I could see how something like this could get patchy if you don't fully mix it. Interesting. The color looks like it'll be fine. I mean, it does look a little chunky on the back of my hand, so perhaps it does need to be worked in a lot to really mix the product together it still looks a bit watery on my hand like it's not fully emulsifying but it looks like it has a little bit of coverage you can see that it covered my acne scar right there it looks like it's going to be a good color but I already need more so I could see running through this fairly quickly I wonder if a spatula thing would work better like a mixing tool because I feel like I'm Losing a lot of the product to the edges of my hand. If you do not fully blend it in, you get lots of streaks like here. But I feel like that's the case with just about any of these pigment bead products that I've tried. It is a tint. You can see this side's done. This side is bare. So with and without, I would say it gives you a nice tint and it does give you glow, but it's already sinking in and setting down. So I feel like this is a product you could wear as your skincare and tint combined. I didn't do any skincare before this because I wanted to see how this would apply, how it would spread out. Um, you can see I still have a little bit of streaking here, like just color streaks where it wasn't fully blended. So I do feel like you need your fingers to really make sure this is fully blended out. And I wanna see how buildable it is. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more, blend it out and see if it can cover any of the blue circles or acne scars. Okay, so I added more. It didn't really do much to the coverage. I'm not sure this is buildable. I would say you're gonna get a tint to light coverage at most but it is really glowy. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the face. We'll see what it looks like with some cream color products on top, but this is the, this is the before and this is after. See you in a bit. And this is what my face looks like with both sides done. If you're not careful, you do get color streaks like right here. You really just have to be careful to blend or pat out any streaks of color so that it doesn't look like stripes of pigment on your face, but it's already settling into lines. Like I don't normally have issues with smile lines and it's already settling right here. 
Yep, and it's already gathering in my forehead line. So I feel like this is not the most forgiving if you have any types of lines on your face, even though it says simply ageless. I'm just not sure about this. I feel like I would have had to set this already for it to, to not settle into things. But here is the initial look, 8.30 a.m. See you in a bit. I just wanted to pop on and give you a one hour update. This is what the skin looks like with nothing else on top. And it doesn't feel like it's fully set down. Like I still get a little bit of shine if I touch my face, but I feel like it's mostly set down. So you may not need to powder heavily, but I still would need to powder a bit just because like I said, it's already sinking in here and here a little bit into the smile lines. So one hour check-in before I apply other things on top. So I'll give you a check-in throughout the day and let you know what it's looking like, but I may have to powder. We'll just see how it looks even after it's been powdered throughout the day. So. See you in a bit. Okay, so it's been an hour and a half since I applied the skin tint product, but I noticed that it was settling. It wasn't fully set down. So I ended up powdering with my Milk Makeup Loose Translucent Powder. And I feel like it looks a little bit on the drying side and that could have been from the powder, but I couldn't wear this tint alone. So I ended up applying some concealer under the eyes, some cream blush, some bronzer. But I tried not to do much around the perimeter of the face. Like I just did a very light dusting of powder around my mouth, around my jawline and the perimeter of my forehead. So I'm hoping that some of that glow from this tint will peek through, but I really don't know what to expect with this because it isn't a lot of coverage. So I feel like I needed some concealer, but I didn't want to mess with the product. So an hour and a half and with a full face done, this is what it looks like. So I'll let you know if the glow starts to come through, if this product is too slippery and makes the powder and color products slip around as the day progresses. So stay tuned for updates. Okay guys, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. So the skin tint's been on for about six hours and it still looks really nice. Even with the powder, I still feel like it looks decent. I don't have much coverage, but I would say that my skin looks pretty good right now. I'm not really getting greasy or oily anywhere, which is nice, which could be the tint and could be the powder. Not really sure, but it looks okay right now. Still very light coverage, so I still would need some concealer for certain areas of the face, but it's okay. I feel like this is one that I'm going to need to use multiple days to see how I like it best, either as a primer, as a moisturizer, or on its own as a skin tint. So I'll keep playing with it and I will check back in in a few days and let you guys know what's my preferred use for this product and what my final thoughts are. But here is six hours, day one, on its own with just some loose powder over top, mostly in the T-zone. Still looks pretty nice.